Hi. Good evening to all. All are fine. All are happy. Let's start for today. Reproductive system in human. What is that? Reproductive system in case of human. If we talk about reproductive system in case of human, it includes a number of organs. A number of organs. That combined helps in or combined perform its production, reproduction. If a number of organs that are combined to perform which production, reproduction, then we can call that reproductive system. Yes. That is which production system? Reproductive system. And this reproductive system is of two types. One is called male reproductive system. And the second one is called female reproductive system. Yes. One is called male reproductive system and the second one is called female reproductive system. And male reproductive system at law, it includes a number of organs that helps in reproduction in case of if a number of organs that helps in reproduction in case of male we can call that male reproductive system and that will focus minor when a number of organs or number of sex organs that helps in reproduction in case of female we can call that female reproductive system. Yes. So let's start for in detail. That is which reproductive system? Male reproductive system. Yes. In detail, if we are talking about male reproductive system, try to focus my dear. Now we are talking about the reproductive male reproductive system in case of human. That is male reproductive system in human. Okay. The first point, if we study about the reproductive system, that is called andrology. If we study about the male reproductive system, that is called physiology, andrology. Yes. In case of human, in case of human, the male reproductive system includes First, scrotum. You can found this structure is called scrotum. Yes. Yes. Scrotum. The second structure that is called a pair of testes. A pair of testes. This is one testis and this is one testis. The singular is testis but the plural is testis. So you can call that testis. Yes. Third one. Bhasa efferentia. Small, small dots which are arises from the testis, we can call that Bhasa efferentia. Bhasa efferentia. Bhasa efferentia. Yes. The next one. FPD virus. FPD virus. This is the Vasa efferentia are combined to form which name is epididymis. This is epididymis. Yes. The next one. From the epididymis, another dot arises that is called Vas deference. Which reference? Vas deference. Yes. And 
next to vas deferens, there is another structure is found that is called isacolatory duct. That is called which duct? Isacolatory duct. From this place to this, in this side, from this place to this. We can call that isacolatory duct. Isacolatory duct. Yes. Number seven. From this place to this place. This place to this place. We can call that urethra. Urethra. Yes. I'm trying to focus my mind. Repeat on the next one. That is this structure. From this place to this. We can call that penis. We can call that penis. Yes. And apart from that, three types of accessory glands. Three types of accessory gland. That is thunder as for eric. Okay, which one? Three types of accessory gland. The first one, this one, called seminal vesicle. What is that? Seminal vesicle. Yes. And apart from that, which one? Another gland is formed. That is called prostate gland. Which gland? Prostate gland. This one. And the final one is called this. This, this one and this one. We can call that. Cow Parsi gland. Which gland? Cow Parsi gland. Yes. yes. So the main reproductive system include following organs. The first one is scrotum, one a, a pair of testes, vas afferentia, epididymis, vas deferens, isagulatory duct, urethra, phenis, and three types of accessory glands that include seminal vesicle. Prostate gland and calcus gland. Just identify these structures here. This is a structure of male reproductive system that include the following organs. Here, this one is which one? Scrotum, this one and this one. And this is that this is a pair of testes. And from testes, small small dots are just we can call it which apparentia, vasa apparentia. And this vas afferents are combined to form which dimes? Epididymis. Yes. Next one is that from below the epididymis, in this side and in this side, another duct is arises. We can call that vas deferens. We can call that which deferens? Vas deferens. Yes. I'm trying to guess my dear, which one the vast differences which one move in this way, in this way, in this way, in this one, and this one. And up, just after vast difference, yes, there is a small dot is found. We can call that Zaku Lettori dot. Which dot? Kadia? Zaku Lettori dot. Yes. I will try to focus my mind. Just after the ejaculatory duct opens to another duct whose name is known as we can call that urethra. Urethra. That is which one? Urethra. This is. Yes. If we about the next structure, this structure is called from this place to this place. We can call that Penis. Yes. We can call that what? Penis. Yes. And the next thing and the which one? The three types of accessory glands. The first one, this two. We are called that seminal vesicle. Which is seminal vesicle. Yes. And just to be able to that, you can another one is that it is that prostate gland. You can found this one as the prostate gland. Oh. Stitch. Yes. 
And the final one, the last one is Cowper's gland and vessels. Cowper's gland. Yes. Okay, so this is all the structures which are the main structures which are available in the which one which reproduce system, male reproductive system. Yes. Apart from that, apart from that, we are getting some different structures here, which is basically comes under these structures. Yes. If we talk about the first. There is a connection formed between scrotum and testis. We can call that juvernaculum. See you earlier. The connection between testis and scrotum. That is a structure is called which column? Juvernaculum. Yes. And try to focus my reflect about here. Here, there is a gap found, there is a canal found between testis and here abdominal cavity. From this place to above, that is which cavity? Abdominal cavity. From this place to below, that is called which sac? Scrotal sac or scrotum. Okay, there is a canal found that is called inguinal canal. Inguinal canal. Yes. The next one, if you talk about which one, a dot, a dot, which is coming out from abdominal cavity and attached with the testis. One dot, sorry, it is not dot, a filament like structure or a fibrous structure arises from abdominal cavity and that connects to the testis. We can call that. Formatic cord. We can call it which cord? Spermatic cord. A fibrous filamentous structure which is which one arises from abdominal cavity and attached with the testis. That is called which one? Spermatic cord. Yes. So uh, these structures are basically which one related with which one male reproductive system. And some other structures are also there. We will discuss in later. Don't worry, let us start for scrotum. If we are talking about the first sex organ of male reproductive system, that is called which one? Scrotum. Let us talk about the scrotum. Okay, so let us start about scrotum first. Yes, the scrotum is a pouch of skin. Pouch of skin. Yes, it is made up of. Connective tissue and muscle. Yes. It is a pouch of life, pouch of skin. Yes, pouch. That means it contains a cavity. The cavity is the cavity of scrotum is known as. Vaginal cilum. Which cilum? Vaginal cilum. The cavity of the scrotum is called which cilum? Vaginal cilum. Yes. The scrotum is situated between the thigh. It is a thigh region between the thigh. That this means situated between the Yes, and it is situated. If we take on the next point, situated below the penis. Try to focus on this is penis and this is scrotum. That means this is which one? Scrotum, and just in front of that, this is penis is present. Penis just behind what is present? Scrotum is present. That means it is situated below the penis. Situated below the Below penis. Yes. The scrotum, if you take about the scrotum, it is provided suitable 
table temperature. That is two to two point five degrees Celsius less than the body temperature. That you know, everybody. The temperature is how much? Thirty-seven degrees Celsius. And in the scrotum, the temperature is thirty-four point five to thirty-five degrees Celsius, which is suitable for it provides suitable temperature. That is two to two point five degree less temperature than the which temperature body temperature, which is required for. Spermatogenesis मतलब try to focus my dear for spermatogenesis मतलब sperm production for the process of sperm sperm production that is we need which one thirty point thirty four point five to thirty five degrees Celsius sperm production cannot be takes place in thirty seven degrees Celsius. So for that reason, the scrotum provides suitable temperature. The scrotum is important because it provides suitable temperature that is two to two point five degree less than the which temperature body temperature. Yes. Next one, we will talk about the next point. The scrotum. Yes, total sac is called scrotum. Yes, the scrotum internally divided into two parts. Okay. Okay. This is the structure of scrotum. The scrotum is divided into Two scrotal sac. This one is scrotal sac, and this one is scrotal sac. Scrotal sac. Yes. By a septum, whose name is called septum scroti. Yes. Try to understand. This is. This is. Random guess what this is? Okay, this is scrotum, and this is scrotum is divided into how many scrotal sac? Try to understand. This is a scrotal sac. This is another scrotal sac. By which one? By which one? Septum, and this septum name is called septum scrotum. Yes, and each scrotal sac hold how many testes? One testes, and here one testes. The scrotum has divided into how many parts? Two parts. By which one? Septum scroti. And divided into how many scrotal sacs? Two scrotal sacs. And each scrotal sac holds one testis. Yes. Yes. Try to focus my dear. If I go the next one. And this septum scroti internally. Internally is called septum scroti. But externally, if we sing externally. This is scrotum. This is the internal septum. This is the external. Swing externally. We can call by another name that is called raphe. Yes. Okay. The which one? The septum which divide the scrotum into two parts internally. Then we can call that septum scroti. Okay. And try to focus, my dear. This septum. Appears in the outer side or in outer part. We can call that raphe. Matlab the septum scroti externally called which one? When it is found in the external outer part of the scrotum, we can call that raphe. Okay, this is all in detail about scrotum. Yes. Another additional point I can tell you that is what is that. The scrotum, okay. See, this is the person. This is the scrotum. This is the scrotum. Yes. 
try to look at my idea which one this is scrotum this scrotum which one becomes squeeze become squeeze and closer to the body this is the which one in previously which one this is a scrotum in the colder season or in the winter season the which one this one this scrotum becomes closer to the body okay due to which one absorb the which temperature body temperature okay in winter season when the body temperature is basically which one due to which one external colder things that is basically body temperature is basically affected at that same time the which one the scrotum it becomes switch to the body closer to the body by the help of a muscle that is called ductus muscle okay which brings the मतलब which is basically contraction of this ductus muscle which is found in the scrotum which brings the testes closer to the body during which season winter season yes so i will make a confirm point in winter season when uh, basically body is going with cold the scrotum is basically which one the scrotum contains which muscle ductus muscle that is contracted and the bring the scrotum closer to the body so this is all detail about scrotum okay let us focus let us talk about the next part that is important part of male reproductive system that is testis that is what is that we can call that testis yes the first one testis as the primary sex organ in case of okay in case of male it is the primary sex organ or we can call that which gonna add male as it produces male sex hormone as well as which one gametes as we produce male gamete or sperm and male sex hormone that is testosterone we can call that male gonad or we sex organ primary sex organ yes second it is basically which one one pairing number yes this one this one okay just one pair in number okay and these are found one in each scrotal sac it is found one in each scrotal sac in this scrotal sac one in this scrotal sac yes next one the testis attaches to the scrotum testis attaches to the scrotum by a fibrous pad like structure there is a fibrous pad like structure okay which is basically connects testis with the scrotum we can call that which column juberna a fibrous pad like structure connects testis and the scrotum called what is that juverna colon which colon juverna colon yes yes you break on the next part the test is a soft ova structure and pink is in color yes it is a soft okay oval structure and pink is in color yes next one if we take about its uh, length in case of human it is basically 4 to 5 cm in length 2 to 3 cm in width 
and one centimeter, nearly about one centimeter in thickness. Thickness. Yes. And ten to fifteen grams in weight. Yes. Yes. So length is of uh, four centimeter. Width is two to three centimeter. One centimeter in thickness. Weight is ten to how much grams? Yes, fifteen grams. Yes. You ready for the next one? The test is connected with abdominal cavity. This is abdominal cavity. Here test is inside the scrotum. So there is a which one? There is a which one? Filamentous structure that connects the abdominal cavity. Two testes. That is called spermatic. Which cord? You can call it which cord? Spermatic cord. Yes. The next one. We take on the next things. The testes is extra abdominal in position. Testes is extra abdominal. In position, in human. Yes, that means it is situated outside the abdomen. This is abdomen, and here scrotum. Inside the scrotum, testis is present. That means it is which abdominal in position? Extra abdominal. But always, but before birth, before birth, it is. Intra abdomen. Yes, when we are or uh, the males, when the males are inside the mother's uterus, when they are present and the mother's uterus, the testis is present inside the which domain? Abdomen. That means this is the baby. Yes. Inside the mother uterus. Yes, that means in this condition, testis is present inside the which domain? Abdomen. Yes, but at the time of birth, when the baby is coming out, The testis is which abdominal? Extra abdominal. Yes. So this is. So before bath, it is. Before bath, it is. After bath, it is which abdominal? Intra abdominal. It is what is that? Extra abdominal. Yes. Yes. You bring up the next point. If the testis fails, okay. If the testis fails, that means after birth it should come to the scrotum, but it don't come. It don't come. Yes, that means which one? This male unable to. Produce sperm. The smell unable to produce which one? Sperm. Because try to focus mind. Which of its What is that? Unable to produce sperm because in body temperature is how much degree Celsius? Thirty-seven degree Celsius. Whereas which one in scrotum the body temperature is how much? Thirty-four point five to thirty-five degrees Celsius. Okay, so those persons are which one? The test is is unable to descend into the scrotum. That means which one? If the test is unable to come to the scrotum. This type of disorder is called crypto or C disorder. That's an important question. For an exam point of view, those persons in those persons, the test is unable to descend into the scrotum. The disease is called which archetype? Crypto archetype. 
and those persons are going with cryptorchidism they are unable to produce sperm due to the testis is present inside the abdomen where the temperature is high that is 37 degrees celsius yes yes so this is the basic fundamental which are the same crypto oxidation yes i am trying to focus on next one yes this is scrotum so try to focus my i already told that there is a canal like structure is present there is a canal like structure is present by virtue of which testes come to here from the husdomen abdomen it is which one scrotum from abdomen testes come to scrotum by a canal like structure that is called which canal inguinal canal yes this inguinal canal as basically which one through the inguinal canal the testes which one during birth come to the scrotum yes and after the testes is coming out the testes is which out coming out when the testes which one come to the scrotum this should be closed this should be closed yes if this should not be, if this one is not closed, if this one is not closed, in normally this which one inguinal canal should be closed after the descent of the testis. If this do not close after the descending of the testis or after the descent of testis, the intestine, the intestinal tissue. The intestinal intestine or other tissue or other fluids enters into the scrotum. Yes, by virtue of which the scrotum size increases. If this which one the inguinal canal not close after the descent of the testis. That is not closed after the descent of the testes. So intestinal which one tissue or intestine or part of the intestine or other tissues or other fluids enters into the scrotum. By virtue of which the scrotum size will increase. And this type of disorder is called inguinal hernia. Yes. Yes. Through, again I repeat that. So there is a canal found between the scrotum and abdominal cavity that is called which canal inguinal canal after the descent of testes the inguinal canal should close if the inguinal canal should not close the intestine or the other tissues or other fluids come to the scrotum and causes increase in size of the scrotum okay and try to focus minor we can call that this disorder is called inguinal there is increase in size of the scrotum and that is called inguinal hernia Okay, try to focus my dear. This is another type of teacher. Hundred percent. So next, we are going to the next part. Testis. If we are talking about which one, external structure of testis. External structure of testis. This is the testis. Yes, this testis which one is covered by. Three coverings. Covering one, covering two, covering three. Yes, this this is the outermost covering. If you talk about which most covering, outermost covering. That's name is tunica vaginalis. But is this the testis that is covered by hovering covering one, two, and three covering the outermost covering which is present outside that is called tunica vaginalis. The which one middle one that is called tunica alvuzinia. Tunica alvuzinia, alvuzinia. Yes, and if you go to the next one, try to focus on another which one the innermost. 
which is closely attached to the testis that is called tunica vasculosa tunica vasculosa yes that is basically which one three coverings around the testis is the outer outer is called tunica vaginalis middle one is called tunica albuginea that is middle and the innermost we can call that which one innermost that is called tunica vasculosa it is named as tunica vasculosa because it is reaching whose vessels blood vessels it is reaching blood vessels so it is called tunica vasculosa yes so these are the three coverings around the testes okay you better talk about the next one next part already we have told that this is which one testis the outermost covering is called which one outermost covering is called as what is that that is called tunica vaginalis and some fluid is deposited yes this is tunica vasculosa and this is tunica this is tunica vaginalis this is tunica albuginea it is tunica vasculosa there is some fluid is deposited below the tunica vaginalis okay if some fluid is deposited which one if the fluid amount is more that means it increase the size of the testis yes this can be occur in one testis or two testis this type of lesion matlab some fluid is deposited extra extra fluid is deposited below the tunica vaginalis yes and it can be occur in one testis or it can be occur in two testis okay this type of lesion is called hydrocell we can call it we say hydrocell this is a common lesion in case of males okay we already talk about which one three lesions one is called cryptorchid lesion due to which one if the test is unable to descend into the scrotum first lesion second lesion is if the inguinal canal do not close after descent of the testis the lesion is called which hernia inguinal hernia and if the fluid is which one some extra watery fluid is deposited below the which vaginal is tunica vaginal is that causes increase in size of the testis that is called we sell hydrocell okay this is the basic fundamental about which one testis now we talk about the some extra points in case of human testis is which abdominal extra abdominal in case of elephant whale seal in this organism testis is intra abdominal that means in case of elephant you cannot found in case of elephant if you talk about which one you, you can't found the testis the testis as basically in this piece yes this is the testis found in case of which one this is a which one elephant in this elephant testis is inside the abdomen as well as in case of well as well as in cell okay in case of human dog bull it is cat it is testis is abdominal extra abdominal next one yeah, another important point in case of bat another organism is called otter in bat and otter the testis is intra abdominal but it comes outside in breeding season in case if we breeding season takes place if the breeding season occurs then bat 
and in case of water the taste is come or descend into the which one or comes out of the abdomen sir in other time the taste is intra abdominal but during breeding season the taste is which abdominal extra abdominal in case of bat and water okay these are the extra points about the which one taste Okay, now talk about the structure, internal structure. Now we talk about the structures, internal structures of the testes. Okay, internal structures of testes. If you talk about the testes, this is the testes. The testes as basically divisible into nearly about. 250 compartments these are the compartments these are the compartments and they are called if you take about this one okay this so is the test is the test is divided into which are nearly about 250 compartments nearly about 250 compartments and these compartments are called testicular lobules. Okay, this is a testicular lobule. So testicular lobule, testicular lobule, testicular lobule. And try to focus my dear. In this testicular lobule, one to four number of yes, one to four number of seminiferous tubules are formed. Okay, the which one, the test is divided which one, nearly about 250 compartments, that is called testicular lobule, and the testicular lobule contain one to four number of seminiferous tubules. Yes, that means the entire structure of testes is made up of seminiferous tubules, and apart from that, try to focus, my dear, which one? The main function of the testis is which production? Sperm production. And this sperm production or the sperm are produced by seminiferous tubule. Entire structure of testis is made up of seminiferous tubule. And the main function of testis, that is sperm production, is done by seminiferous tubule. So, the seminiferous tubule is called structural and functional unit of testis. Yes, seminiferous tubule is called structural and functional unit of testis, RGB. The entire structure of testis is made of seminiferous tubule and it produces which one? Sperm. Okay, let us focus about the structure of seminiferous tubule. Yes, and try to focus minor if we talk about which one? Now we talk about, if we take the transverse section of the seminiferous tubule, sorry, if we take the transverse section of testis, we can follow the structure of the seminiferous tubule. And this is, yes. This is, this is the transverse section of testis we are taking. This is a seminiferous table, this is a seminiferous table, this is a seminiferous table, this is a seminiferous table. And this which one, the seminiferous table, as basically, this is a seminiferous table. The seminiferous table is basically composed of, or, uh, this is a seminiferous table, we are talking about this first. The seminiferous tubule is lined by one layer of which epithelium germinum. This one is seminiferous tubule. Yes. This is the which one outer lining that is called which epithelium germinal epithelium. The seminiferous tubule is lined by which epithelium? Germinal epithelium. Yes, this is another seminiferous tubule. 
this germinal epithelium is made up of a number of kibo dances kibo dances the germinal epithelium is basically made up of a number of keyboardal cells. Yes. And these keyboardal cells are otherwise called spermatogonium. These keyboardal cells are otherwise called spermatogonium or sperm mother cell. Yes. Which mother cell? Sperm mother cell. RDP. Produces the sperms. As it produces the sperms. Yes. That is, these cells divide continuously and produce sperms. Yes. And in between the seminiferous tubule, there is another type of large cell is found whose name is called sustenta. Or we can call that Sartori cell. Yes. We can call that sustentacular cell or Sartori cell. Yes. And try to focus my dear. If you talk about the which one these cells, the sustentacular cell or Sartori cell, this is a large cell which is found in between the keyboardal cells or which gonium spermatogonium. Yes. It provides which meant nourishment. It provides nourishment to the developing sperm. Yes, first one. It provides the which one nourishment, it provides food to the developing sperm. Yes. If we take the next one, this lady cell, that's basically that's basically provide attachment site. For the developing sperm, it provides the attachment site. But this is a sperm, which is basically which one? The sperms are attached to the which one? Which cell? Subtly cell. Yes. Okay. This is a developing sperm. It provides attachment site for the which one developing small. Yes. Its name is Sartoli cell because it is basically discovered by one scientist that is Italian person that is called Enrico Sartoli. Enrico Sartoli discovered these sustentacular cells or supporting cells. So we can call that Sartoli cell according to the name of this person. Yes. And this secretes two hormones. Okay, it is basically sorry, it is basically secret one hormone that is called inhibin. It is secretes one hormone whose name is inhibin, which inhibits the spermatogenesis. Which inhibits the which genesis? Spermatogenesis. Yes. Apart from that, it secretes which one another protein we can call that androgen binding protein. In short, we can call that ABP. It produces another protein that which name is called androgen binding protein or ABP, which concentrate the testosterone. Which concentrate the testosterone. Yes. So, try to focus mind, it is which one subtly cell if you talking about, it is otherwise called sustentacular cell or subtly cell according to the name of which one and because subtly it provides nourishment to the developing spore, it provides attachment site to the developing spore and how which one, it is basically secret which one, a hormone called which one, inhibit, which inhibit the genesis, spermatogenesis or production of the spore, apart from that it is creates which one, ABP, androgen binding protein which Concentrate the testosterone. The testosterone, if uh, there is testosterone hormone, that it concentrate. Yes, try to focus my dear. This is yes. Apart from that, another important point is that it is basically which are act as it is act as subtly cell which act as blood testis barrier. 
it is act as which test is very well. blood test is very matlab it do not allow the this sir matlab subtle cell do not allow the entry of harmful substance to testis from okay so from blood do not allow the harmful substance enter into the testis so it is act as a which one blood and testis barrier because it is present in which one it is basically which one is a, it act as a barrier between blood and testis so you can call it it is act as a blood testis barrier yes yes and try to focus mind here very interestingly which are another point we can ask there is another type of cell form this is a seminiferous tubule already known that this is another seminiferous tubule in transverse section in between the seminiferous tubule there is another type of cell is found okay another type of cell is found we can call that inter Interstitial, interstitial cell, okay. Interstitial cell, or we can all the guys called which one? Lady cell, okay. Interstitial cell because it is found in between the seminiferous. This one is seminiferous tubule. This one is seminiferous tubule. This one and in between the seminiferous tubule it is found we can call it interstitial cell or we can call that ledic cell it is called ledic because it is discovered by another scientist one is whose name is called franz ledic franz von ledic yes okay under the influence of under the influence of one hormone that is called icss interstitial cell stimulating hormone under the influence of interstitial cell stimulating hormone which is basically also called which is fss okay it is produced that is male sex hormone that is testosterone okay this ledic cell or interstitial cell under the influence of which one icss okay you know follicular stimulating hormone in case of which one if we talk about follicular stimulating hormone in case of male it is called icss or interstitial cell stimulating hormone under the influence of icss this ledic cell produces testosterone testosterone which is called male sex hormone okay try to focus my dear very interestingly this is yes and try to focus another point is which one the ledic cell available this is a group of cells these are always available in groups yes so these are the basic fundamental about which one seminiferous tubule as well as testis yes try to focus mind here next thing if i add these are seminiferous tubules in the testis combined to form tubuli recti tubuli recti and this tubuli recti are combined to form retained testis yes and the retained testis are which one combined to form which one this retained testis are goes outside of the testis and produce or join to form vasa efferentia yes this which one seminiferous tubules of the testis they are combined to form which one yes tubule recti inside the testis and the tubule recti of the testis are combined to form which testis retained testis and the retained testis are goes out of the testis okay which one by forming combined to form another structure that is called efferentia vasa efferentia okay so this is the basic fundamental about testis let us talk about one just a small difference between what is basically asked in the exam that is which one difference between sotoli cell and ledic cell last difference of this class sotoli cell as basically found inside the inside the 
seminiferous tube. We have found certain cells where inside those tubes, seminiferous tube. Hundletic cell has found outside the seminiferous tube. Yes, first point. It is a which one? Subtle cell is a which cell? Large cell. Subtle cell is a which cell? Large cell. Yes. Try to focus my dear. Whereas, ladies cell is a which cell? Small cell. Yes. We cell, small cell. Yes. You will take on the next point. Subtle cell. Subtle cell. Provide which meant? Nourishment. To the developing sperm. Which one? The subtle cell provide nourishment to the developing sperm. But lady cell do not provide nourishment to developing sperm. Yes. It is secrets. Subtle cell secrets. In even. And A, B, B. That is androgen binding protein. Ladic cell secret. Testosterone. Yes. It is secret situation. 